Marshall Islands President Hilda Haini says infrastructure, outward migration and climate change are among some of the biggest challenges facing her new administration. President Haini was re-elected on 27th December last year for a second term as the nation's 10th president. She's one out of only two female leaders in the Pacific, alongside Samoa's Prime Minister Fiume Naomi Mata'afa, just two. Kuroi Hawkins spoke with RNZ Pacific correspondent in the Marshall Islands, Giff Johnson, who witnessed the inauguration on Monday. Uh, president Hilda Heine is, is the first uh, president in the Marshall Islands to be a woman. And she, when she was first elected her first term in office in 2016, she was the only head of state in the Pacific to be female. So she really set the pace there. Now, of course, there is... There is another one, a Samoa a prime minister. Uh, so there are two of them. But point being is, you know, she's been a pace setter uh, for the region and, of course, for the Marshall Islands. An interesting feature of the, the new parliament, which has elected her by a very slim margin, but nevertheless elected her, uh, is that we have the most women ever in the parliament. Uh, It's only four out of 33, but that's double what we had in the last uh, term, which was only two. So, you know, there seems to be there there seem to be, you know, more women getting in. And the fact that Hilda can uh, can get elected is a is a is a good sign. And uh, she's you know, she I think probably feels that she's got an unfinished agenda from her from her previous one, uh, previous term in office, but also uh, they are just beset with a myriad of challenges and problems, uh, some of which she outlined in her inaugural speech uh, in Majuro. To come to that, obviously, inauguration, um, how was the ceremony? How was the, the, the spectacle? Well, it was... It was great, and lots of international visitors. We had presidents from Palau and the FSM here, representatives from many other countries, and maybe most significantly, we had the first White House dispatched delegation for an inauguration. In my experience here, there's never been a presidentially dispatched group uh, to attend an inauguration here like it's normally it would be the ambassador uh, who's on hand but in this case joe biden uh, sent a, a four-person team uh, three of whom coming from washington uh, and in addition we have american samoa representative amitha radawagon came in to, just to attend uh, so lots of you know lots of heavyweight folks like that uh, in town to join in. And then uh, uh, the president, of course, they swore everybody in and you know did all the all the things they needed to do. Uh, and then President Hilda delivered a very, I would call it a quite significant address uh, to the country, to the to the inauguration, but also because it's live streamed and on on the government radio to the country and the world in which she quite bluntly outlined a a very significant list of challenges that are that face the country and she said you know like the top thing in her estimation is infrastructure and right now we're in a situation where the power situation power supply in the capital is just collapsing on the on the regional front what does a a leader of her caliber coming back into the mix um bring well, I think she's uh, she's chaired the USP Council, and you know she's got a. I always get corrected when I say she has a PhD. She has a EDD, right? Because she's an educator. Uh, but the point is, you know, she she's very much engaged in education in the region. When she was president last time, she was very engaged in forum, Pacific Islands forum activities. Uh, I remember, you know, in Tuvalu, she was there with then Prime Minister uh, Jacinda Ardern, uh, Dom Meg Taylor, the then Secretary General. And, you know, that was a nice little grouping of women at the forum, right? So I think, uh, you know, Hilda is certainly one who, you know, looks for pushing the regional agenda. 
Uh, and I mean, these are issues of huge importance back home, whether, you know, things like climate, uh, climate change, uh, and I mean, particularly climate now is so high on everybody's agenda, but things like fisheries and uh, uh, gender, you know, gender equality, they, you know, she, she's very much on it. And I think you will, we will all see her uh, play a significant role in the in the regional in the regional uh, platforms. Thank you.